we're about to embark on a trip like no other we've ever taken. You could say this is a trip 20 years in the making. <laughs> it's so good. Does it look so good? This channel may be called Life in Japan, but our life here in Japan involves a fair amount of international travel. Our big anniversary trip starts right here at Hananda Airport, but not how you're thinking. We're here to pick up somebody very special and essential to this trip happening. It's oh, there it is. Our parents are coming in from Brazil and Ruth's mom is going to watch our kids as we go off on a special 20th anniversary trip. Just waiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> Good job, Becca. We've never left the kids for a trip like this, so everyone's excited and a little bit anxious. All right, Vava made it. Vava made it. Yay, Vava! Whoa! Oh no, Sarah, you got ran over. What's happening, Sarah? Heaven. Heaven's happening. Whoa! Heaven's coming down. Oh, sugoi. We've been preparing for this trip for months, but now with everything ready to go, we'll spend our last little bit of time with the kids. Let's go in, huh, guys. We having special snuggle time, huh? Where we leave in a couple hours. In a couple of hours, we get up at like four in the morning. My goodness. <laughs> Setting two alarms for that one. Early the next morning, we met up with Ruth's sister, Debbie, and her husband, Ben, who would be traveling with us. <laughs> We're doing it. We are doing it. <laughs> you can't tell, but in Japan, this is 4.30 in the morning <laughs> in the summer. And now we are ready to go. Here we go. Arriving at Narita Airport for our international flight, we had a nice surprise to kick off our big trip. Well, Ruth, what happened when we checked in? Well, they put us in emergency seats. They said it was an upgrade. <laughs> we'll see once we get on the plane. And with that, we waited aboard, but not without getting some business done. Conference time. Thank you for attending this meeting today. <laughs> There's our plane waiting for us. We just gotta go check in now. So we're getting on the plane and we got found our seats. Look at all that feet room. Oh yeah, Ben and Debbie right over there. All set to go. The flight from Tokyo to Singapore takes six and a half hours and involves flying over a lot of ocean and hundreds of islands sprinkled throughout the Pacific Ocean. As we got closer to Singapore, the excitement mounted for what we were about to do. Okay, we've arrived at the airport, but this is like no airport we've ever seen. <laughs> We've arrived, and who is here to greet us? Iron Man. Iron Man, he's alive. <laughs> and well, and lives in Singapore. <laughs> Iron Man made it. And Marvel. Look at that. We'll be exploring Singapore's amazing airport later, but for now, we're going to get checked in and explore the area around our hotel. And the explorations did not leave us disappointed. Exploring now. What's around our hotel. Our explorations led us to Bugis Junction, a series of buildings spread over a whole block that have been converted into a large shopping space, including some stores that we recognize from Japan. Ruth. <laughs> Japan. But everyone was so hungry that we headed to a local restaurant that came highly recommended. All right, we got the suggestion of a great local place and we're going to check it out here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to sit down, doesn't it? We've been told what to order here, right? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The pork chop. The rice. Chicken rice with traditional rice ball, was it? Yeah. Okay, dinner has come. And? 
Very good. <laughs> Ooh. I better eat some. The next day, we had some big plans in store. Today, now we're going to Sentosa Island. We're catching the bus to get there, hopefully see some cool sights, go to Universal Studios, go on this huge luge that they have there. It's gonna be a fun day. And it all starts right now, catching the bus. The bus was a surprisingly great way to see the city as we went by many of Singapore's iconic structures. Tomorrow we plan on seeing all of these things up close and personal, but today we're just getting a sneak peek from the bus. We are very tourists here today, but that's all right because we are tourists here. We left the bus and transferred to a monorail that took us over to Sentosa Island, Singapore's resort island. Is this the station we want? Yes. Okay. First up was Universal Studios, and the girls came prepared for action with a plan of where to go first. As soon as the park opened, we were off to conquer it all. No time for pictures. We're rushing to our first ride. The men are lollygagging. Oh my goodness, go, go. <laughs> I think we should get a picture, guys. <laughs> picture's not happening right now. There's Transformers the ride, but we will not be distracted. We will come to that later. If it was me, I'd probably get distracted right now. <laughs> but we're on one track mind here. That's right. One track mind, baby. Hey the morning involved one exciting ride after another, mixed with pockets of rain and a lot of walking. Yeah. So, guys. That ride was that crazy. Was so, good. That was so good. That's later. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is classic. This is what I'm excited about. We got a lot of rides in early, including one of my favorites, though it may have gotten us a bit wet. Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, lunch is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Well, we got our food, but it was a battle. But sometimes the best things in life are free, like some minion mirrors inside of a gift shop. Oh, your legs open make you look horrible. <laughs> and Jerry's like, oh, and I'm like, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Right. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my. Wait, Nate was standing at the right spot where you look like rude. There, right there. So your legs, you got legs all the way to Christmas. <laughs> What's that? It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> These are the minion views. So, what do we think today? Uh, Universal, Singapore? It's good. It was fun. Best ride. Transformers? Transformers. Yeah, Star Galactica Cyclone. Cyclone? Cyclone. And then the, the, the water run was very good too. Jurassic Park? Yeah, Jurassic Park. The yeah. mummy one. The mummy, the mummy was a lot of fun. They're good. It's a good park. We have to come early. Come early. From 2 o'clock on. They're yeah. blind. But the day was not done, and there was a lot more excitement to be had on Sentosa Island yet today. So we just got our tickets for the luge, and we're coming back after Universal Studios to do it. It's luge time. Let's do the luge. Look, you come up on this, the sleds come up, you get your helmet, and then we're going to go down, down, down. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that is so great. Is a lot of fun, huh? So fun. Uh we're heading up, oh man. Hi guys. We're heading up the luge. We are. Get our first run, it was really oh, cool. Good. Now we're gonna, we got three more, so here we go. Look at that view over there, holy cow. Always, they look all around. I'm being told look all around because every way is awesome. City. Awesome. 
This is a really high one. I thought the other one was high, but this is This really one's high. much higher than that one. The view on this one is good. I'm holding on for dear life. That was legit. So those luge carts were awesome. We did four of them. Great tracks, a lot of fun. They're fast and you go up by lift and you can see the whole city. It's just, it's a great experience. So now we're gonna have some dinner and relax on the beach. We grabbed some food and went to look for a spot to sit. But since there was none, we ate quickly and then went on to explore the rest of the area. Oh man, look at this. How about that? There we go, enjoying the beach on Sentosa Island where they brought all the sand in here to make this beach. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Are you sure about that? Well, I'll make sure before I post this. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fact check. That's right. <laughs> Fortunately, Wikipedia confirmed my assertion. So pretty much Sentosa Island feels like one giant theme park. <laughs> Just everywhere you go, it looks perfect. We are literally 10 minute walk from the southernmost tip in continental Asia. But the, the girls ran out of gas. It's like literally. We lost them here. There they are, out of gas. They're falling asleep here. There's just no need for a hotel tonight. Just sleep on the grass. <laughs> Well, the ladies said, go ahead, go see the southernmost tip of it. continental Asia. So we got to at least go see it. It's in our system. There it is, right there. That's the southernmost tip of Asia, reached by land bridge. Ben and I are here in person, witnessing this beautiful night. It's just hard to describe how pretty it is out here tonight. We went back to rescue our ladies, only to find them watching a show but everyone was ready to head back to the hotel. So we got on the monorail and started back, but not before scratching one more item off our Singapore list. We don't know. What do you got there? Soya bean drink, you die Gloria recommendation. Oh, interesting. French French soy bean. French oh, this. It's soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, what in the world? Gotta try it. Okay. It's the after taste. It's the after. Yeah, it is. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's put some dirt in or something. All right, look, here's the crew at the front of the bus. Riding back to the hotel at the front of the double-decker bus on top was the perfect way to finish our day at Sentosa. Exhausted but flying high, we still couldn't imagine just how surreal the next couple of days would be or how wild some of our experiences would get. The next day would start off great as our friend Rachel hooked us up with a great coffee shop called Glass House nearby. Okay, our drinks came. Look at this. This is called the Mont Blanc. Might have to come back for another one. Orange cheese. That's right. It's cold brew with sweet cream and orange citrus shavings on top. Here we go, Ben. Cheers. Let's give this a try. Mm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. The, the food has come. Hardly want to eat oh this. my goodness. Oh, that's amazing. This oh, yeah. It's just so beautiful. My salmon toast has arrived. Look at that. We enjoyed the rest of our food and coffee free of charge from the glass house and met up with a fan from Life in Japan there. Then it was time to get moving. The girls had another full agenda for us today and we couldn't get behind. Okay, where are we going? Then? Okay, that away. All right, on to the next thing. What is the next thing? The observation tower to see beautiful Singapore. Here's the building we're going to. Look at that. We're going up. We are going up. Way up. That's fast. From one? I'm so fast though. The 70. 60. Whoa, we're almost there. That was fast. Holy cow. My goodness, look at this. Man. We're coming back here later. Maybe not tonight. The view was certainly amazing, but we were too early for the restaurant. But we weren't the only ones enjoying the view, and we weren't the only residents from Japan either. Look at this, they have stuff. And the great Hokusai. 
It began drying at 6. As we took in the last views from the top, we could map out the path we would soon take. Marina Bay Sands, right over there. Is this place open? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely not open yet. And so it was back to our hotel for a little R&R &R before heading out for the rest of the day. Our friends from Singapore bought us local things to try out, and we were hungry to try them. <gasps> dragon fruit time. Have you ever Whoa. eaten dragon fruit from the... Dragon? <laughs> from the pot. Oh my goodness. It is perfect. Mm. Wow. This is too cool. Kill, thank you, Rachel's parents, for bringing it to our hotel. We went on to try several local fruits and delicacies before heading out for the rest of the afternoon. It was sure fun to try a bunch of things we probably wouldn't have been able to try otherwise. I don't think you've eaten too much of it. No, the one piece is plenty. Soon we were cruising through the city from our favorite perch on the second floor of the city bus. It didn't take long for us to reach what is arguably Singapore's most famous area and we would not be disappointed. Dude, this is, this is all kinds of insane in here. Look at this. Take me to the honeymoon suite. Where is that at? Presidential suite. Or That's right. The honeymoon. The honeymoon. The guys working up there. They're inspecting the paint. <laughs> <laughs> They're, we're paint inspectors. Don't mind us. It's one thing to see these places on TV, but it's a whole other thing to visit in person. It feels surreal as you walk around these places, as if something you've imagined before actually exists. As good as it is on TV, is actually much better in person. Dude, this is awesome. Look at the tower. Yeah, the tower behind uh. us. And instead of striking something off of our bucket list, we've added something new to stay at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. What'd you find here? We found jambu. Oh. This was our favorite fruit growing up. Is there any on the tree? Oh, I see some, but it's growing still, huh? Yes, look at them. But we wouldn't just see great things outside. For the gardens by the bay are home to amazing indoor gardens as well. Flower dome and cloud forest. We're about to do the flower dome. Here it comes. There we go. Just pictures of flowers. That's right, pictures of flowers. I hope you like it. I think part of this is just paying for air conditioning and it's wonderful, it's worth it, it's just for the air. But it wasn't just the air that was great, as the plant lovers among us had a blast. Look at these, oh my goodness. Is this like the garden you always wanted? This is like my dream. Look at this rock, but yeah, you need to get a rock like this. Look at it, out of the tree. The girls were in no hurry to explore the gardens here, something we would have little to no time to do if all of our kids were with us. This was turning out to be a perfect anniversary trip, and better yet, we were sharing it with Ruth's sister Debbie and her husband Ben. Dude, these are intense. Look at the stickers on that thing. Man. Oh my word. Look at those. They're blooming into flowers. Birds of paradise. It really looks like one. But as impressive as the flower dome was, it was about to be eclipsed, at least in our opinion, by the cloud forest. Whoa! Hello! This is a big waterfall. Indoors, too, nonetheless. You get wet here. Man, walk on through. It's even wet on the ground. Looking way up, whoa. God, we call Steve. What? God, we call Steve. That's a great picture. <laughs> I feel like this would be awesome if you're an Avatar fan, but as I'm not, then it's just kind of lame how it does it. See, this is pretty here. Oh, what the heck? Okay, took the elevator up.
Here comes Cloudwalk. You ready for Cloudwalk? Oh, yeah. Look, here's Anna Cakes on the phone. Whoa. Check this out, Anna Cakes. <laughs> and Ben and Debbie, ready for dinner. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It is a little freaky because it moves a little bit and it's just so like up there. Holy cow Bruce like not thinking about it <laughs> Walking through the heights of this indoor paradise perfectly contrasted the huge city scenes outside This is certainly a very unique experience that's worth it and it was my favorite part of Cloud Forest Okay heading down Wow. The cloud forest keeps going on as it descends and even has a couple of surprises along the way. Ooh. Yeah, this is just like Team Lab. Oh, yes, these are the best. Look at this. Very cool. Hey, your shorts. Look at your shorts. Whoa, here we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Are you getting hungry? I'm starving. Oh, me too. <laughs> After making our way all the way down again, we exited and made our way towards dinner. Look, oh my goodness. You're in a bad fan. Okay, well just when you thought you were safe from big areas. <laughs> all we want is some dinner. Descending to the food court. Here we go. Oh man, well dinner was legit. I got it, I was so excited to start eating and forgot to get a video of it. Bruce took a while to but she's chowing. All out Dude, guys, it was like a free for all for our table. Was, the it? moment we stood up, there was like Dude. three different people going for it. All right, it's the after dinner walk. Got to walk off all those calories. <laughs> Look at the backgrounds here; they're all awesome. In Singapore, they love their evening light shows, and tonight we're hoping to catch a couple of them. Okay, so we're gonna go to Marina Bay. Not Marina Bay. Bay. Do the show there at 7.40. So then we'll walk that way, go see the Merlion, and make our way there. Yeah. Wow. That's that's a big finish. So this whole area just kind of feels like a wonder of the modern world, honestly. Wow. Here. Okay. Wow, yeah, this is okay. cool picture. We weren't here just for the beautiful views at twilight though. For soon this whole place would erupt in a fantastic show involving lights and music. We're waiting for the show to start here. here we are. Hope it starts soon. Hopefully. Oh, So cool. Was awesome. They had amazing music in that all through the thing. John Williams probably had the most amount of songs though of anyone. <laughs> all right, I think I know what Singapore is all about. They're a city, country that said, 
We want to be a theme park. We just look like a theme park wherever you go. It's going to cost like a theme park wherever you go too, just a little bit more, but you're going to feel like you're on vacation everywhere. Unless you live at the theme park, then it's probably not that hot, but the visit, it's next level. It is next level, <laughs> great. dude. It's just like, what in the world? Good job, Singapore. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> After the very long walk, we made it. Merlion. The Merlion is half mermaid, half lion, and is mascot of Singapore. Let's take some work. Okay, Ben, move closer. I gotta move in more. More. Hang on. Oh, right there. He spends his days spewing water into the bay and entertaining all of us tourists that come to Singapore. As we begin to wind down our night on the town in Singapore, we relax and take in one more light show before heading back to the hotel. It's been another long day, physically exhausting but incredibly satisfying. Tomorrow will be completely different yet, a day with local friends who will show us around less touristy areas of town. But for now, we take in one last view of Singapore dressed up for the ball. One last show for tonight <laughs> with ice cream, double drinks, very refreshing. This is a cool place to see it. Nice. Grand finale for sure. Yay! <laughs> Welcome back to the hotel. Here we go. Gonna sleep well tonight. Good night, Mr. Merline. Sleep tight. So it's felt like we've been out at a theme park all day long. You get in early and you stay as late as you can to see the shows and then leave. That's what it's felt like all these days here in Singapore so far. And we still have a whole nother day to go. Mosey on. We are Barely. Barely. The next day we hopped in the car with our friends Raymond and Rose, lifetime residents of Singapore. With them, we would get to see Singapore in a totally different way, from a local perspective. Lots of people. During the day is one city, and Singapore at night is totally different. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the main Chinatown street. Smith street. Oh, okay. Yeah. Smith Street. Hawker food is like everywhere. Yeah. yeah. The place that we recommended you, it's considered like less expensive because it's in the city. Here it's expensive. Yeah, this is a nice area here. Yeah. Got here and realized our hotel was very central. Yeah, oh, very excited because yes. we did not know what we were booking. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm saying that you are you are having a five star location, uh -huh. but four star price. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> our first stop was a local market where many residents come to shop. Because it's a Saturday, it will be especially busy with people stocking up with food and supplies for the coming week. It was amazing to see this part of Singapore, which has roots that go a long way back. So we are in the wet market now. We were at the food court, which is up top, and now it's like the market. It's just crazy. What's it remind you of? Reminds me of the fetas in Brazil. <laughs> it's very clean. We toured the rest of the market and could clearly see that one can get just about anything here and many local residents do because the prices are much more affordable than in more touristy areas. Next we are heading for breakfast at a local bakery but along the way we got more of the tour. Because of local laws, trees must be planted along the roads and in all new constructions. That's why the city is so green. Trees along the road have to be ones that don't shed many leaves and are resilient against bad weather. This is the Pyong Baru the same bakery as the that Ruth loves baking and is very excited to see what this place is like. This is very cool. Right. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look out, Ruth. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh. What are you going to get? Oh, good. Yeah, I had to use it. We'll see. <laughs> All the things coming in, boy, it looks good, good, good. So we're so fortunate to be here with Raymond and Rose because they're driving us around so we get to go to these places. Otherwise, we wouldn't see without a car. Like this place, which is awesome. Yay! Thank you! Yeah. Look at that! Ruth has, oh, he's coming this way? He's like, see you later. 
Listening to Raymond and Rose tell us about Singapore and themselves was great and certainly one of the highlights of our trip. And this most interesting tour had only begun. Orchard Road, so lots of shopping. Yes. And all the branded shops. Oh, yes. All are in Orchard Road. This, to me, almost kind of seems like Ginza a little bit in Tokyo. But when it comes to Christmas, the whole Orchard Road would light it up. Oh! Then come to Chinese New Year, the whole of Chinatown, Chinatown lights up. Wow! When it comes to Indian New Year, the whole of Little India lights up. Wow! It's fun! As we learned, Singapore is an amazing mix of cultures from all over Asia, and now we are going to experience one of those cultures up close and personal. This is cool here, Little India. Well, we got out of the car and we're checking out Little India yeah, here, fun. and I've never been to India. Okay. But Ben, you've actually been, been to it. India. Yeah, it feels like it. Does it? A little bit. It's the tamer version, I think. <laughs> the girls soon lit up as they found great souvenirs. Watch the kids. Oh boy. The ladies immediately bonded over the bargain shopping. Like shopping with mom. Can I just do something fun? Can you just stop, okay? <laughs> <laughs> The shopping continued in the little street shops and corner stores. We found all kinds of great souvenirs for our kids and loved ones back home and even checked out one of Little India's bigger stores. But we were all getting hungry and that meant we would have some local Indian food. Alright, it's lunchtime and we've come to a little local Indian cafe. My goodness, look, lunch has come. It's like a mile long. And then, look at this. Ben's in heaven. I love it. What do you think they're Ruth? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> oh. Okay. Tonight's dinner place, Newton Food Center. A few hours later, we were ready to try some authentic Singaporean food and Raymond and Rose were treating. They had us go around to the different stalls and see what looked good, and then they would order. So what is this here? What are we getting here? We're getting braised duck rice. Braised duck rice. Oh man. Once the food started coming, it was time to get busy eating. Hokkien mee. Hokkien mee? Chicken wings wow. and the saute. This looks oh, great. And duck rice. Okay. Oh, oh yes. How's the duck? Oh, it's amazing. Here we go. Mmm. I guess that's giving you a good saute. Saute. Peanut sauce. That is amazing. I'm eating stingray. Stingray. Well, and that spice. That's spicy, huh? That is really hot. <laughs> this saute is Michelin star saute. We found out. My goodness, it tastes like it. Look at this lime juice. Oh man. Oh man, so fun. Sour sauce. Yeah. Okay. Wow. But it's graciola. Oh, oh shit. Yes, yes, it's yes. so amazing. Oh, dumplings. So is that what these Have are? Come. Yeah. It's super good. That's juice inside. It's juicy inside. So you put it in these little spoons. Yeah, and then you suck it. Just like that. Oh, that is very good. I think this is the best dumpling I've ever had. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of dumplings, but these dumplings here are next level. Amazing. Can you the video? And the delicious food just kept coming. Fried oysters, oh my. Until we couldn't eat anything else. Cereal prawn. So we tasted the rest of the food and then left some space for something we knew we had to try while we're here, but we were a bit apprehensive about trying. What was your favorite so far? Maybe the duck? The duck and the prawn. Oh, the stingray was really good. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. It's so hard to tell. I think my favorite was the chicken saute. The chicken saute. That, so. that might have been my favorite, too. That was my favorite. I like the xiao long bao. Xiao long bao. Xiao long bao. I like the dumplings, the dumplings. too. That oh, the dumplings. Oh. That might have been my favorite. My favorite is when I see you. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you just so kind? Well, just fantastic dinner, huh? Amazing. <laughs> and fun conversation. And now great we're... Food. Great food. And now we're gonna go 
Let's see more. Let's see more. Only about 20% of the property in Singapore is available for private purchase, which means if you want to buy your own home here, you will be paying a premium. And that's if you can even find a home on the market. Say, for example, in this neighborhood. So some of these houses along here are about 15 million. Yeah, not everyone, like some houses. Right, just kind of that range, right? Supply and demand seem to keep the prices high, but something else on the island has a big demand that we will be checking out tonight. What's... <laughs> It's durian, huh? Yes, and it smells. We've heard about the king of fruits and even seen signs prohibiting it on public transportation because of its strong odor. But tonight is our time to finally try it. The line outside was impressively long and we had to wait to put in our order just for a taste of fresh durian. Debbie, what's your expectations here? <laughs> High expectations. <laughs> I hope I like it. It stinks, but it's actually not that bad. And I just hope I like the taste. Okay, over here. All right, Ruthie. Gotcha. All right, Ruth's gonna try it. Just get, just get gloved up. Yeah, he said this is the best. Oh my goodness. I'm just nervous. I see the whole thing. <laughs> some people like it, some people are like you. <laughs> like the, like the. <laughs> it's not oishi night, but it's not oishi. Debbie's going for it. What do you think, Debs? I think it was cold. <laughs> She's working through it. Acquire taste. The texture is way different than I expected. Wait, it's mushy. The outside tastes like an onion. <laughs> and then the inside tastes like a mushy, overripe banana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, well, <laughs> all right, Ben. It smells. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. I smell it. Don't smell. Just eat. Don't smell. Just eat. Oh. <laughs> 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 What is that flavor? <laughs> Finally, it was my turn. Judging by my family's reaction, this wouldn't be a walk in the park. <laughs> day three ended big, and when our fourth and final day came, we were excited to scratch one of the last things off our Singapore list. Visit New Creation Church at the Star Vista, a building they made for their local community. Dude. How about this entrance here? This is what we need in Tokyo, man. Yeah, right? Postures and Postures Tokyo. Oh my god. <laughs> mad this is this is like next level here. Four days hardly seems like enough time to really take in Singapore, but I'm not sure I would have spent our time any other way. What was your favorite part of it all? Make sure to comment below. So now we're gonna try the train station for the first time, head back to our hotel, check out, and then go on to our next big trip. Next time on Life in Japan, our big 20th anniversary celebration is not over as the trip changes direction and heads further south yet. Okay, checking in. The checking airport. In. We'll explore Singapore's amazing airport before ending up in a tropical paradise. So subscribe not to miss the next amazing episode. All right, we are getting on the plane for Bali now. Yeah. There we go.